Hello, hello. For Tony, yes, uh, Mr. Smith. This is a lifter. I think Mr. Smith is British and he's a bit of an asshole. An asshole. Holy ass. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I care less. People are entitled to their ridiculous opinions. Like me. <laughs> now, okay, so. Still got the cold. Maybe it's the O virus. It's, I'm living with it, and it's going, going to go away, of course. Took in uh, two and a half hours of sunlight today at full intensity, 11 till 2. Roasting in the sun, which is good. And I've got this fellow done here. This funny looking thing is a, a lathe. <laughs> As you probably have gathered, I painted it, so I can't turn it on right now, but I got the chuck mounted. Test throw the testing bar, very accurate. Four jaw chuck on there, which is called defense training chuck. Whatever that is, I have no idea. They're dealing with an old lathe, of course. Turn of the century, now these lathes, little ones like that, in my opinion, are a bit spongy. <laughs> they work. But, the, you know, the engineering of them is good. But still, compared to the modern high production stuff, it's, they're kind of cute to have and that kind of thing. Uh, but it was, it's a fun project and it's done, so be improvements. Maybe I'll make a bigger bigger pulley to get it spinning faster. I don't know. We'll see. Or you never know. It's it's fun. I have another spongy old lathe, eighteen thirty something. A pedal lathe converted with electric motor, you've probably seen it. I got it in there, so I got how many lathes do I have? Hmm. So um, one one, two, one, two, three, four. Number four is 8,000 pound lathe. So we got four in there, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's pretty nice one. Six uh, medium lathes, I, I guess you call it that. And ten, um, 135 pounders. This is strong smell of paint. Oh, somebody's been painting it here. So, am I forgetting some? I don't know what I'm forgetting. But anyway, if you've got a lathe, you can give it to me. Red those chops, boy. <laughs> uh. So nice press fit, just perfect. Got right for temperature, room temperature to be okay. Not too warm, not too hot. Everything even out and the press fitted together, of course, number one. That's the thing I might use on there. Old, bloody, <laughs> funny little light. I wonder why that black thing's around there. Hmm. What a cute little extension cord. <laughs> Gloss covered wire, which I love actually. This thing must be ancient. Oh well. A freebie.
see how red I look today. I feel like my head's in a drum. That's because of the gold. Boris got gold. Boris, I got this on backwards or what? No, I guess not. I don't know. Anyway, Boris, Boras. Little Johnny Boras. So what's that right down? Oh, lathe chuck face plates. Maybe on eBay. Searching eBay tonight. Yeah, not okay. Two inch, three sixteen. Oh wow, ten threads per inch. One and seven sixteen, twelve threads per inch. Yuppie. You never know. Somebody might have these things on eBay. Which I sold all that stuff actually on eBay, <laughs> except for the Mota. Hey, let me take a look. Yeah, motor case on the scrapyard. <laughs> eBay buyer. A lot of stuff. First bought the lathe bed, tail stock and head stock, and then all the other parts sort of came in, and then all fit together. Perfect lined it up, tested it with the dial calipers and dial indicators and everything you need for testing, so it works good. Uh, oh well. Uh, uh, what did I? Oh yeah. What did? Hmm. So that, compared to, and I can turn this around and show you. Compared to that head. That's a spindle for CNC machinery. Very heavy, all bearings in there. Ultra modern, high precision cutting and milling and lathing and all that stuff. <coughs> Quite a difference from this old fellow's headstock. But now all I need is a steam engine, that'd be just perfect to run that thing, but oh well. A steam engine? Interesting how industry and things have come along in time, isn't it, huh? Truly amazing. Uh, the old stuff's fun to rebuild it, restore it, kind of thing, right? Right. Let's get another stocking color for Bob Greener. Said I look like a muppet. Or, am I a muppet? kind of scary. Scare Bob Greener. I think I scare everybody anyway. Acting like this. Or could I act like the old John? It's really the old John at Deep Six that died a long time ago. You know, with a beanie hat and jean jacket. And amazing how the media molds you into what they want to see. God darn it, I'm just an old has-been, Spocky. <laughs> Strong smelling paint. Of course, it's warm, so it'll boil up. I'm gonna dry for tomorrow. What else do I gotta do, anything? I'm thinking to make a bigger pulley, maybe. Hmm. Three inches. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> Don't take too long. Because smaller the pulley, it kind of slips a little bit.
So, scrapyards. When did I start flying? It was so much going as a question somebody asked. I think I was about 10 years old. Let me think. Let me think. No. <coughs> <coughs> wow. Maybe younger. My dad took me to a place that has sold galvanized steel threaded pipe. That to me was awesome. That's five. So I guess for maybe five or four, I was into scrap. And guns at 10 or even earlier because we go see Uncle Louis Stevenson. He'd always give me this German Luger to play with. That kind of fascinated me, all the metal and the weight of the thing. So my dad bought me a 303 Ross rifle and then a double barrel shotgun when I was about 10. Then I met uh, the arms dealer behind the parents' house and went and bought all these rifles and cannons and stuff. I've been collecting that stuff ever since. Hmm. Now I have, um, I did something really foolish, and I still got the printout, it's Triple B Auctions in the 90s, I auctioned off all my guns, except one, one, um, case of pistols. Why that is, I don't know, why didn't I auction that off, I don't know. So, uh, what was auctioned that's worth a lot now is a 50 caliber Browning machine gun, fully operational, heavy barrel type, made by Colt Firearms Company. And the gun collectors in Canada still rib me for auctioning off that machine gun. And my Lewis machine gun and my Sten gun and BAR. <coughs> my cold is getting into my talking, my voice box. So that foolish adventure was 1993. Hmm, 92. Still kicking myself in the ass for doing it. And a few other stupid things like selling up Navy stuff. Jesus, Willikers. Yeah, it was Clifford Jan, Cliff Jan, Dan Jan, and others that got me the 50 caliber M2. Fully decked out with tripod and everything. Fired really nice. Kind of shakes a little bit, not, but not like an Orlicon 20mm. That really shakes your guts out. But This thing made the devil's own noise and just grabbed at everything. It was beautiful. Anyway, where is it going with this story now? <laughs> My regrets. And even moving. Oh, well, I'm not going to dwell on it. What's the point? It's just things. Things in transition. Beautiful machine gun, like came out of the factory. Vintage, but wow, I had a bunch of other ones that were made by other companies. Inglis, Remington Rand typewriters. Anyway, that's old history. Old bloody history, bad job. Oh yeah, I had those on television in 78. Huh, I love to get those videos. Hi Mike McArdle, if you see me, can you dig in this Canadian archives on Hutchison versus Regina? I 
again, that was the work of Pierre Elliott Trudeau. Introducing gun control, I got caught up in it. The RCMP came down, and blah, 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 I'm gonna take a look at your gun collection and all this stuff, and they did, and I was, again, sick with a cold, the flu or something. So they decided to take half the collection. Why, I don't know. <laughs> but they regretted it. Hired, um, I told this story before, by the way, but two gun collector lawyers that went after them like there was no tomorrow and made news media around the planet for uh, over a year or more. I want all my cases, everything was returned. Then I went after to sue them. But again, I told this story in another stupid video. <coughs> anyway. So what else can I talk about besides that old hit coffee? Jiggle, jiggly wiggly. So the ravens are talking a new language. They're doing a shrilling sound, which is very unusual and cool. A long shrill, like, I can't even do it, but it was amazing. Something new. They got a whole vocabulary, different languages, those guys. And they hang around most of the day and talk. And then they go out, circle around a few blocks, maybe a mile, come back, talk again, and go out again, and come back again. Mr. Squirrel was out there telling me, get me nuts. So I got him all his nuts out there. He's got his own little communication system. So I said, ah, oh. it's outside in the sun and, oh, yeah, he's saying he wants his nuts. So I went and got his nuts out. The ravens eat him as well. And he was happy. So were the ravens. So I'm entertained when I'm sitting outside. Because it's got the ravens coming in the tree and they talk to you. For a half hour sometimes go on. Another one comes in and talks a different language and on it goes. So I have a lot of fun sitting in the sun. Better than taking a bunch of Xanax sitting in the sun. It just And I thought of something quite unique. Actually, we, our atoms are from the sun, if that's true. Can you believe it? So I'm thinking I came from the sun. Like we all did. Another thing I thought about the Earth. You know how small the Earth is? It's only 24,000 miles around it. I think it's overpopulated. And also, these things called countries are just that, they're just tribes. <coughs> Actually, the whole thing appears, from my point of view, is infantile and ridiculous. And you got these tribes fighting each other. It's pretty weird stuff, I mean, really, come on. Hmm. All these wars. Indeed, humans can build amazing things from this time frame, but they are indeed primitive, man. God, they kill each other and kill off animals, destroy the planet.
sure it don't bleed into the paint. <laughs> oh well, so what am I talking about? Nothing new. Little Johnny Cupcake got a cold. Little Johnny Cupcake's getting old. Little Johnny Cupcake's got a cold. Little Johnny Cupcake's is a silly little fart. Little Johnny Cupcake is a little starter. Start. Start. Little Johnny Cupcake. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I see why I act like this, that nobody would take me serious. They don't have to pick my brain or worship me. Mm -mm. They always just say, oh, the government has got him and turned him into that. Really? Really? Uh, nah, 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 nah. Funny, funny, funny. Funny little bunnies. Hi, what's new with you? You're going backwards. Okay, Lamely, get your computer fixed. You gotta hear these things. Oh, sitting around looking at television. Hello, Lamely. <laughs> oh, I, I know I could do it. I got a pair of little glasses out of some wire or something, hmm? I got Lamely cooking. Help uh, the great red spot will help her out with the computer. Get her online and get her out of the rut. Oh, good one. <laughs> I wonder who my audience is. Hmm. <laughs> Dino dude. Hi, you got your Dino dude? Hmm? You got your Dino dude? How about Dino Girl and Dino Pets? Dino Dude and Dino Pets. Dino Girl. You take a couple of these little tablets and oh my goodness, the rest is history. Ah, I'm walking x miles adventure. Hmm. <laughs> I'm a walking x -Miles. That's a better line, I think. Ugh, stop it. Eh. Watcher. Can you say watcher, doctor? Oh, look at that. Half an hour talking this kind of garbage. Hello. Half an hour? Gee, Walker. I gotta get out of this area. Paint smell is too strong. Hoof. your name? You want to go and play in the forest? You want to go behind the tree? You want to have some fun? Can we all spread our chops? We can have a lot of fun. Fun. Come on, you little stupid nut. 
Oh, well, back to reality, wherever that is. I'm going to go.